So because of everything going on right now, I'm looking for a lot of different content to consume. So I subscribed for a month of Shudder. I decided that I was going to look for films on there that I haven't heard of before and just read the descriptions and watch them. Not look about anything about them. Just watch them. See if I like them. That's something I used to do a lot more often when I was younger. And frankly, it's a lot more fun way to watch movies. You don't go in with any preconceived notion of what you're going to get. And sometimes you find some gems that critics have written off as not worth your time. So I was scrolling through Shudder and I saw this movie called Dead Detectives. I read the description and I went, that sounds like it could be a fun time. I love a good horror comedy. So I watched it and I did. I found one of those hidden gems. Shudder picks up a lot of films from film festivals. Um, this originally played in the Stygis, I believe that's how it's pronounced, uh, film festival. It's a Spanish word. I don't, I don't speak the language. I'm sorry if I'm mispronouncing that. This is a movie that if Shudder didn't pick it up, I don't think it would have found any kind of platform. I, I believe there is a home media release, but I, I don't think it's very wide. I had never heard of the movie before, but I'm glad I've heard of it now. Like I said, it's a horror comedy about this ghost investigation show that's obviously fake. They don't believe in what they're doing. They just go in and they convince people that they have some kind of connection with ghosts and that they can find them and that they can expel them from wherever it is they're investigating. The show is about to get canceled by their network because of low ratings. So they send them to the most haunted house in Mexico. They get to the house, they go in, they're still treating it like normal, like it's just any other show. Nothing's really happening. But then all of a sudden things get weird and it turns out they have found a legitimate haunted house. So I think what's interesting about this movie is the concept. It's something unique that I haven't experienced before. I think there are other movies with similar premises, but I haven't seen them. The movie's also legitimately funny. There are a couple moments that will have you laughing. It's also could be legitimately scary for some people. I, I think the horror is done well. It didn't scare me. Not a lot of things do anymore, but I do think that it could scare some people. I also really like the characters in this movie. Some of them are assholes on purpose, but they're all lovable assholes. You can understand why they're all sticking with each other, even if they probably get on each other's nerves sometimes. They're all very believable. I also like the dialogue in this movie. It has some pretty snappy dialogue, and that is a testament to the screenwriter and the actor's delivery. It's very theater style where as soon as somebody's done talking, the other person immediately starts talking and is, they, you get that back and forth and it's very snappy and it's it just keeps you engaged and it's very, it's, it's almost like music. It's very rhythmic. I don't see a lot of people talking about this movie. I think that's a shame. Is this the best movie I've ever seen? No, but it's something that I think people should see. I think if you like that kind of movie, you'll really enjoy this. I'll give the movie a B minus. It's like I said, it's not technically the best movie I've ever seen. It definitely does have that film festival feel, if you know what I mean. But it's a good, it's a good time and I really enjoyed it and I think you will too if you like horror and you like comedies. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, consider subscribing. If you like the content I post here, you can also follow me on TikTok and Twitch at Thomas underscore Yazer. I will also have my Instagram and Twitter links in the description below. Thank you for watching. Have a good day.